In this video, you'll learn how to install Lamenzia. Lamenzia comes as a single zip file, and if you see multiple files, that's because your browser already extracted them for you, in which case I would generally go and find the actual zip in your downloads and start from there. Then on a Mac, you can double click, or on a PC, right click and choose Extract All to open up the contents. In the root, you'll see the license terms, possibly some README documentation, but then a folder for each version of Lamenzia which comes with your download. Now, the versions that are currently in this zip include 923 and the version 10 beta, but in time, these may well change. It's possible that there might be a third version, perhaps. Just find the folder that's marked showing the version of Photoshop that it supports for you. So if you're on Photoshop 23 or later, also known as Photoshop 2022, you can use version 10 and dive into the installer files here. But if you're on an older version of CC or if you're on CS6, then you need to go back to version 923. You have the option to run this in newer versions, but it's required on older versions of Photoshop and the installation is different. And I would call attention in particular to the install videos here, which you should watch if you're going to install this version, because it has some nuances compared to the installation I'm going to show here for the UXP panel, which is the latest version. So in the version 10 installer here, just a few things to know. We have the how to install PDF guide, which is the written version of this tutorial. And I would definitely check this out. It also will include things like troubleshooting if anything goes wrong during this process. Then there are the user manuals for both the basic panel and Lamenzia here, which you can read at your leisure, and the CCX file. And CCX is the type of file that you use to install a UXP panel, which is the newest type of Adobe extension panels. All you need to do is just simply double click it and it should open right up into Adobe's installer. If you don't see this, then you should check out the written install guide for information on how to troubleshoot what's going on. But at this point, just click the blue buttons to continue. You see a little confirmation that it's been installed. Go into Photoshop and you see hovering here are both the basics and Lamenzia panel ready to go. And you can just drag them wherever you want them. So I'd like to put them kind of right up top on the right here. You can kind of click and drag to get the edges the way you want, move things around, and you're good to go. Now, if you don't see this, and that might happen because Photoshop wasn't open when you installed, just go up to the plugins menu in Photoshop where you'll find all your installed UXP plugins. Note that this is a different location than you'd see for a legacy panel such as version nine, which would go under window extensions if it were already installed here. So at this point, the UXP panel is installed. And if you want to install the legacy panel, I'll just quickly show you how that would work. So I'm going to go back in here and we can actually install these side by side. Again, definitely check out the install videos here for more detail on some of the nuances of this. But generally speaking, if you've got Photoshop open and there are no images open, just drag and drop this JSX bin file. This is the installer. Just drag it to Photoshop and it'll ask you, do you want to run the script? You say yes and you get the installer interface. Just accept the license terms and hit install. Or if you had an installed version, you can actually uninstall it, which may be something you want to do if you're upgrading to version 10, but I'm just going to choose to install. And then at that point, you would just simply quit Photoshop to restart. And then once you restart Photoshop, I've got my UXP panel open, but you're not seeing the CEP panel that we just installed. And what you have to do is just go up to window extensions, and then you'll see basics. We can open that up and then we'll go up to window extensions, Lumenzia to independently open both of these panels. And again, you can just drag and drop these wherever you may want them to be. You can leave them installed side by side uh, if you want, but there's really no particularly good reason to do so. So if you want to uninstall this, and so you're only running the latest version, we can go back to the installer, just run it again. And in this case, just choose the uninstall option to remove things. And next time you restart Photoshop, this should be gone.